to be heedless of the signs of Allah for how long are we going to be busy with the dunya busy making money chasing our dreams following our desires we know my brothers and sisters that death is a reality you can't run away from death even if you was in a fortress with walls built up high death is going to come and find you imagine your time is today what have you got to take back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have you repented for your sins for this temporary life you have given up eternal bliss and eternal happiness a life which never ends my dear brothers and sisters even if the hereafter was soil and mud and this dunya was gold and silver still the hereafter would be better than this dunya because it is eternal but reality is this dunya is mud and soil and the hereafter is gold and silver and yet we choose this life over the next are we asleep why are we walking around like headless chickens we will be brought to a camp on the day when everyone will be a stranger to another when your best friend in this dunya will be a stranger to you in the next when your mother is going to abandon you just to save herself the day when every small action that you ever did you will be shown every atom weight of good and every atom weight of evil my dear brothers and sisters this is the promised day of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't your heart tremble with fear knowing that you will be brought to account and how you will die that's how you will be raised that day when a child's hair will turn gray due to the shock and fear what will be your excuse on that day when your limbs, your own legs are going to give witness against you. When your lips are going to be seen. When your legs are going to speak and say, Ya Allah, He made me walk to this haram. And your own hands are going to say, Ya Allah, He used me to touch this haram. On that day, my dear brothers and sisters, there is no refuge except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no escape. So take heed before your time is up. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among the sabiqun, a group of people who race each other to good deeds and these people will be closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the next life.